morning and welcome back to Erasmus TV. What to do when you're all alone in your room and all your roommates left you? Or what to do when you're your parents and you have no friends near? Well, my today guests are, um, well, bringing student life back online. Um, welcome Ricardo and Femke. You guys created Stay Rotterdam a month ago. Ricardo, can you take me back to the moment when this idea popped into your head? Um, so basically what happened is that in the time span of two days I had my volleyball season cancelled and then the university cancelled physical classes and exams so in the time span of two days all the people that I spent time with went back home and I started thinking okay this is going to be a lonely period it's going to be such a bored period and I started thinking what can I do what can we do and then around two in the morning I had this idea okay we can do this and then I called probably one of my favorite people here in Rotterdam Femke and I was like this is what we need to do, like, let's do this together. And then during the weekend, we created uh, the platform and then Monday we launched and now we're here. Yeah, so the platform is Stay Rotterdam. Uh, what is it? Okay, so we host online events through Zoom mostly and we use uh, a Slack platform to talk on and we separate it into different communities. For example, we have games, which is then not only like for hardcore games, like video games, but also for fictionary and stuff. Uh, and then we host daily online events. I think on right now we have like four on average a day. And those can range from cooking tutorials mm -hmm. to, to a beer canters. And it's a lot of fun. Yeah, the beer canters was yesterday, yeah. right? On King's Day. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It was a success. Yeah, it yeah. was definitely a success. Yeah, it, was, it went it really was. well. Okay, well, we have a small video, not of the beer canters, but we decided to take a look to the event through the eyes of a student. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, my name is Paco, student at Erasmus University. Basically, I live at my parents' place right now. In the beginning, it was very nice living with them, but after six, seven, eight weeks, it is starting to become very, very annoying. Marco, the kitchen is a mess. You should have what? cleaned the dishes. I'll do, do it, it. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. For sure, I'll Come do on. it. As you can see, uh, times are getting rough. Luckily, I have Stay Rotterdam, which is an amazing platform hosting so many events, which really help kill all the boredom and bring back the socializing aspect that we've all been lacking right now. Now we're going to jump straight into the Stay Rotterdam event of tonight. It's going to be random games. I'm not sure what it is, but Femke's going to explain, I believe. So Femke, what are we going to do tonight? So the first game we're going to play is Bracketeering and it's about, it's, the description states that it's the game of strong opinions about stupid things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Oh, okay. No! <laughs> Yeah, Femke, my students' A's are behind me. That's my get. I might get too old to understand this. I get that the student is frustrating, frustrated at home. He has to do all these awful stuff like cleaning the kitchen. Uh, but I don't understand the game. <laughs> Can you explain? <laughs> so what we did is, you have. You have to, you get a theme, and then you have to write a word, mm -hmm. and then you can vote on the words that get submitted. Uh, we use Jackbox games in this case. We can use other platforms as well, but you, we use Jackbox here. And then the most silly word will win, if that makes sense. We would have to vote. Yes, yeah. yes, you <laughs> vote online and it's, uh, it's via the gaming platform. So when you enter the call, we'll like explain the game, send all the links that you need, and then beforehand we'll provide a short description mm -hmm. of what the game's gonna be about, but the actual technicalities will be shared during the call itself, because that's when I can explain it the best. Yeah. And as we saw, you are joining a lot yeah. of the events. Do you have some favorites? Uh, yes, I think for both of us, I think the favorite one was the Corona lyrics. So basically what we did, we picked up songs, for example, like uh, Mamma Mia from ABBA, and we reconstructed the lyrics to fit with the current situation. And for me, it was one of my favorite ones because everyone was just being their weird true selves mm -hmm. and express themselves through music. So that was really fun. Apart from that, I really liked uh, the improv show we did at Wild Theater. We managed to make to create an improv show through uh, Zoom. So I think that was really, really interesting. And I think in third place, I think it was yesterday, actually, we did with a student from Villa de Koninga, we did a drink and draw. 
session where, where we receive prompts, for example, uh, draw yourself as the king or the queen or draw a puppy. And it was really, really fun. Yeah. Do you s still remember the lyrics you made on Mamma Mia? Uh, I, I think it's better not to disclose here. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I still remember. Uh, I still remember some of them, uh, but I'll rather not disclose it uh, here on Erasmus TV. Okay, well, let's imagine we could turn back time and I could still be a student and I'm interested in joining you guys. How would I do it? Um, so we share the link to our Slack group everywhere and then you can... Uh, join our Slack group and we will send the, the links to the Zoom calls in there with the times and a little description of the event. And then you can you can join whichever call you're interested in. Maybe because you have 500 well, people joining you regularly mm -hmm. since a month. You have more than one session a day um, and you have to maintain everything. Uh, do you still have time for this? <laughs> yeah, actually, because... I don't have to go to university right now, so I have a lot of free time on my hands. I still have to study, obviously, but it's really nice to have something to put your energy in and to help it grow because it's like life stopped right now or it's on pause society in that sense. But by doing this, I still have time to make something grow and to meet new people and to still keep my student life alive. Yes, so you have now a kind of platform. What's an upcoming event that you would really like to get out there? Do you mind if I add something to the previous question? Like sure. how we managed to do time? I think one really important thing to also mention is that this is only possible because we have an amazing team behind us. We have a board that is composed by Elena, Paco, Stefan and Diraj that they made this happen and all the admins and all the organizations that are helping us, even for example the university in terms of marketing, the Erasmus Sports Center, Erasmus Sustainability Hub, uh, Union Life and all the organizations we are doing, and I think that's the crucial part to make it happen. I think, for example, uh, answer to your question, what's an event that I'm really looking forward to? Is on Thursday we actually are doing an event with 20 over 20 boards of senior organizations here on campus, because they all are recruiting now for their current boards. So then we thought, okay, why don't we put all of this and put it on the same platform? So then we reach out to a lot of organizations and then on Thursday from four to five, we're actually gonna have all board organizations that people can actually join and talk with the board mm -hmm. to kind of know more what they can do to be more involved on Erasmus community on, the, um, on uh, next year, next academic yeah. year. Now, well, everybody, if you want to tune in, check Stay Rotterdam on Facebook. They will share links on that platform and that's how you can join. I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you back here on Thursday morning. Thank you. <laughs>